Hello, kids. How you guys doing? It's Dad. It's reading book time. What have you done, Davy? By Bridget Winninger and illustrated by Eve Tharlick. Davy was woken by the sun shining into his burrow. It was going to be a lovely day. He jumped out of bed, his head full of plans. He would eat his breakfast as fast as he could and run down to the riverbank to make bark boats with his friend Eddie. But Davy started watching spiders spinning silk and threads and took far longer to eat his breakfast than he had intended. He was the last little rabbit to leave the burrow. Davy raced across the meadow, whacking the grass with a stick, sending up sparkling fountains of dew. Then suddenly the stick flew out of his hand, sailed through the air, and landed right in front of his sister Davy. Daisy. What have you done, Davy? she shrieked. You've broken my toys. S sorry, stammered Davy, and he ran away as fast as he could. No. Davy came hurtling around the old oak tree at the edge of the forest and ran straight into a wall. Thumpity bumpity bump! Branches tumbled down around all around him. What have you done, Davy? shouted his brother da Donnie. That's my playhouse. You smashed it. It took me ages to build and now you've ruined it. He picked up a branch and brandished it like a club. But Davy didn't wait to get hit. He ran away and hid deep in the forest. Poor Davy. Having a bad day. It was some time before Davy plucked up the courage to come out of hiding and look around. He liked the forest. The ground here was covered with soft, springy cushions of moss. Davy bounced from one to another. Bounce, bounce. Oh no! Down he we went, deep into a, into a deep, ho deep hole. What have you done, Davy? shouted his brother Dan. You wrecked my secret burrow. Just wait till I get my hands on you. But Davy kicked himself free and ran away before his big brother could catch him. Davy is having a bad day. Davy came back to the burrow at lunchtime. His stomach was rumbling, but there was no one home. Davy crept in to the larder just to see what was in there. Not to eat anything, of course. This is what he saw. A turnip, some carrots, a bag of oats, and a big bowl of blueberries. Round, shiny, sweet-smelling blueberries. Yum, yum! Davy's mouth watered. He tasted one berry, then another. They were so delicious that he couldn't stop. Suddenly Davy heard voices. He hid behind the larder door. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mother Rabbit had came back, and Daisy was with her. Davy has been naughty today, Daisy said. He broke my toy animals. I'd like to break his toys too, Davy's heart thumped. That wasn't fair. He hadn't done it on purpose. Before Mother could reply, Donnie came in shouting, Davy has been so naughty today, he knocked down my playhouse. You should never let him go outside again, Davy was stunned. It had only been an accident. Ooh, no. Then Dan, Dan came rushing in and said, Davy has been so naughty today, he made my secret burrow collapse. When I find him, I'm going to pull his ears. Davy shivered. He, had, he hadn't even known the burrow was there until he fell into it. Davy, had, Davy is a very bad bunny, said Daisy crossly. Davy doesn't mean to be bad, said Mother. He is a dear, clever bunny, but sometimes he's careless. I'll have a serious talk with him when he comes home. Where is the little rascal? Nobody knew. Well, said Mother, he'll be here soon enough. 
Come on and eat, children. I've bought you some fresh dandelion leaves and there are blueberries for a special treat. Oh no, thought Davy. The blueberries! Davy's trembled with fright. He had meant to, uh, to try only a few of them. But he ate them all! All gone! Oh no, Davy! Mother went into the larder and saw the empty bowl. Then she saw Davy cowering behind the door with a purple stain around his mouth. There you are, you little scamp, she said. Suddenly Davy remembered what he usually did to make it mother smile. He opened his arms wide, put his head to, on one side, and said, How about a kiss? Certainly not replied mother severely. No kisses today. We're all much too angry with you. What have you to say for yourself? Davy. <laughs> oh, poor Davy. There was silence. Then Davy gulped and said very quietly, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I didn't mean to do any of those bad things. Saying sorry isn't enough, said his sisters and brothers. We'll only forgive you when you make up for all the damage you've done. What do you mean? asked Davy. You must mend all my broken animals, said Daisy. You and fix my playhouse, said Donnie. And help me dig out my burrow, said Dan. Davy turned to his mother. But I wanted to play with Eddie today, he protested. Well, that will have to wait until tomorrow, said Mother calmly because after you mend Daisy's animals, fix down his playhouse, and dig out Dan's burrow, you're coming with me to pick blueberries. Oh, let's see. So Davy had a very busy afternoon. He mended Daisy's toy animals and even found a pretty feather to make one of them into a bird. He hammered stakes into the ground next to the old oak tree and helped Donnie to weave twigs between them. The playhouse they made was even better than the old one. He dragged basket after basket of heavy soil away from the deep burrow that Dan had dug and then he hopped into the forest with his mother to pick fresh berries for supper. Davy's doing okay. <clears throat> that night, Davy was very tired. He came. He was dozing in a corner when Father Rabbit came home. Well, said Father, what have you done today, Davy? You look tired out. Davy hugged his father and told him, "I made new fur cone animals for Daisy." and built a playhouse with Donnie. Then I helped dig out Dan's burrow and I've just been picking berries with blueberries with mother. You did all that in one day, said father? My, you have been busy. And he said to mother, it sounds as if Davy has been especially good and clever today. Aww, see that? Mother, Daisy, Donnie, and Dan all laughed. They laughed so hard that Davy had to laugh too. He stood up, opened his arms wide, and said, How about a kiss now? A kiss now. And they kissed him one by one. Nosy kiss. Nosy, nosy kiss. Oh, that was a good book. I like that book. What have you done, Davy?